That's why this year, I think that we can become a certified project learning tree green school. Yes, Carmen. But how do we find all the data we need? Well, let's use the green school's energy investigation. Okay, Mr. Jackson already taught us how to use this thing. Right, uh, take the cap off, turn it on, and place it near your light source. Now, the trick is to figure out how to use it to save energy. Well, let's measure this light's foot candles and see if it's too high or low. Works for me. Now, classroom light should be about 40 foot candles to see clearly. Uh, looks like this one's 41. No, wait, now it's 36. And now it's 43. That happens. Sometimes the light meter jumps between several different numbers when you're measuring a light. So what number do we use? Let's take the average of the highest reading and the lowest reading. That's probably the most accurate number. I'll write it down here. There's a spot for our readings right here in the energy investigation packet. That's handy. Sure, but won't the readings be affected by natural lighting? Yeah, and actually we should probably experiment with that. Using more natural light means we can use less classroom lights and save electricity. You're right. The reading is way too high now. Oh, we can fix that by using less lights. Uh, what about LED or CFL bulbs? I heard they're more green. Good point, but I've also heard that some of those bulbs can actually be toxic when they're thrown away. Yeah, we can look at that when we do the PLT Green School's Environmental Quality Investigation. I guess we'd have to test for that separately. Yeah, but at least the light meter can tell us which kind of bulbs give off the less light. Okay, but don't classrooms in the school have to be the same? Yeah, but different rooms don't need to be that bright, like hallways. Right, let's go check the halls too. The same idea applies, but hallway lights should only be about 15 foot candles. But if they're more than 20, we should consider changing the bulbs. Oh, okay, this is great. Let's go do some more. All right, Carmen and Noah, how do you think we should use the light meter? We figured out four ways to use the data we found. We can see if the classrooms have enough light for both the teachers and the students. We can open up the blinds so we don't need to use as much indoor lighting. We can see if halls are brighter than they need to be. And we can see which light bulbs give off the most light. All of this can help us figure out the cost of lighting our school and if we need to reduce that cost. We can also learn about how our choices relate to being better conservation leaders. These investigations can help us to reduce the amount of energy we are using. And they can help us to become better stewards of our campus, our community, and our Earth. Great. Nice work, guys.